Jordan Morgan uh, give a lot of credit for the organisation of this tournament to your department. How excited are you on the eve of the biggest tournament that the ICC has ever put together? Yeah, oh, we're, we're excited. We're a bit tired. I guess it's a big haul to get to, to this point. But um, no, the team's done a great job and obviously the words from Haruna are, are very welcome. And um, it's terrific that he, he said that, but he also gave a lot of praise to a lot of other people. And that's well deserved too. And, including the teams particularly. They've done a, a great, a lot of work to get here and uh, we're expecting a really hard fought competition. What does the success of this tournament mean for the development program going forward? Well I think that in terms of the promotional aspects, and Haruna obviously talked about that as well, it's an unprecedented amount of live coverage that we're providing in this event and that was very important and um, Kupu TV are an important part of that. Um, obviously the last three days as well being on ESS, being broadcast around the world is a key component to, to putting the associate and affiliate world really on the map and that's a, a key component of our strategy um, so we're hoping that a lot of people will, uh, will listen in and, and watch over the next couple of weeks and see some wonderful cricket that's going to be on show. People will obviously be aware of some of those countries, uh, performances from Ireland, the Netherlands and Afghanistan the last few years have, have caught people's attention but there's some great opportunities here for some of the smaller nations yeah, to make an impression absolutely. as well. And the fact that this particular tournament is the first one that allows all members to qualify for the World 2020. We've had 12 regional qualifying events over the past sort of year to get through to this stage. So you know, countries like Oman, which is just down the down the road from, from the UAE where we are here, Papua New Guinea, uh, Bermuda, Nepal, um, far-flung countries, but play cricket very, very well. And that's, at the end of the day, that's the core of the development program is developing cricket in those markets. And you mentioned the UAE where we are. Fantastic place to play cricket and so many top-class facilities. Yeah. I think it's a unique place in the in the developing cricket world that we've got five world-class venues you know within a, an hour's drive of each other we've got three right within five minutes of each other right here and then Dubai Sports City and then we've got Sharjah and Abu Dhabi so you know, the players are going to be spoiled over the next couple of weeks and play on some wonderful grounds. Well we hope you get some sleep during that. <laughs> and you and too Jack. Enjoy, enjoy the, enjoy the okay cheers thank you.